Hey, what's up guys? Before we uh, jump on into this full rebuild video, I wanted to give you a little uh, update on some new, some pretty cool stuff that me and Trev have been working on here in the garage. So, update number one, we got the garage guys tool bag, the roll up tool bag. Got our sweet logo on the front, we got the buckle latches so you can keep it tight, don't have to worry about your tools falling out. Right now we've just kind of got a basic set going. We've got an 8 mil, 10 mil, 12 mil, 13, just the basics that the razor needs. We've got pliers, another set of pliers, some cutters, wrench, a uh, little light probe so we can see if, if we have any electrical issues. Got a tire gauge, flathead, Phillips head, and then there's also this little zipper pouch. We've got a bunch of sockets chilling in now. Number two, we got some Garage Guys door bags. Best looking door bags on the market, that's for sure. And the most cost effective. Man, look at that logo, looks good. <whistles> but yeah, they fit on all stock razor doors and they look freaking good. If you're tall like me, like I'm 6'5 or 6'4, so when I get in a razor, my knee hits this corner right here, unless there's the door bag and that has the perfect fit for them. Also have the outside little pockets and then a zipper. This is where I put my goggles and my gloves, when, my driving gloves when we're not riding. Also out here on the side, got a little side pouch that pops open in case you need to hold a brewski or soda or something. Bang. And then the last thing I wanna show you guys is the Garage Guys Dune Flags. Freaking sweet units, man. They look really good. They're super high quality, double-sided. I wish you guys could feel the texture. They're thick. Like they're not gonna break like your other dune flags are. But yeah, if you wanna support us and rock us out on the dunes, spread the word. We'd really appreciate it. Every, all this is live on the website at garageguysutv.com, baby. All right, now we're gonna jump straight into the rebuild when this thing was all destroyed. Here we go. Well, all the side pieces are off. We're gonna be moving on to the front now. I already got this top dash piece off. Just a few bolts and speed clips. Now I'm gonna start taking off this front fascia. Or I actually started taking it off. I'm gonna finish taking it off and then the cage is completely ready to come off. Everything's unbolted. I just need another pair of hands to help me get it off so we can get the new one on. And then once the new one's on, we'll have some more space in this garage because we'll probably sell this roof throw this cage away and then yeah we'll have some more space so I'll be able to put all these plastics and all these seats over in the corner since we got the two-seater over to my grandma's house so yeah I'm gonna post you guys up and you can check it out Fish is off, the whole dash piece is all off, we got the little cubby removed, we got the, I don't know what you call that, but the little center center console piece, it's a two piece are all removed, basically got her all stripped down, we need to get these seat belts taken out, because we're going to be putting sub harness ones in, and we're going to make a little how to video on that, so check out one of our other videos if you're interested to see how that works. <laughs> So there you go, cage is off, normally that would take half the amount of time with two people, actually way less than half the amount of time, but Trev's uh, not here right now, so, but yeah. Here's the frame all taken apart. It's going straight to the dumpster, as all these things should. So yeah, I'm gonna go inside, it's super hot. Um, actually, first I'm gonna take all these seat belts off, and then maybe take a few more miscellaneous things off, but 
yeah, we should be getting all the rest of our parts in in the next week or so. So, should be good. Well, guys, we got some parts starting to come in finally. Right here, we got the Super ATV arms with heim joints, upgraded heavy duty heim joints. I put the uh, little Zerk fitting in last night. Um, I also got some new KMC Grenader wheels on order. Two of them because, as you can see, the front tires are uh, different and ugly and not beadlock. We got the rig coming apart now. Tires are off. Got sweat rolling down our arms. And ass. Yep. Pants were, pants were definitely a bad choice here. <laughs> <laughs> we got B Dog in the mix helping out. Good. Check out our uh, sketchy jack stand or our uh, wood blocks. That's we got our Yarber Freight jack stands that aren't tall enough. So we're going to be heading over to Home Depot tomorrow to make a little upgrade. But yeah, we're going to pull this off and let's see how it looks. Grandpa Trev over here lowering the jack. It's going. Slow as hell. We got the Fusion putting in the light over there. It says Pittsburgh on it. I don't like it. Been here for about 30 minutes now. I haven't seen much movement. Jack is not moving, so the wood is. Like, it doesn't... Go quick, it's on the jack stand already. Hit the gap. Just boom, go. Don't let that wood fall, that's on the jack stand. Yeah. And there it goes. That's about a year off my life, but we made it. <laughs> Well, we got Trev coming in round two of the angle deal noses, baby. Right. Oh, this is a mess. Oh, God, I just gotta leave. <laughs> leave that to the people that don't work tomorrow. And that, so you clear out some A-arms, ladies and gentlemen. Mike, take notes. Gotta be careful for uh, paint is coming free. Yeah, we uh, turned the camera off right for the good old radiator removal and coolant spill, but you know, you guys kind of get the gist of it. You can see the trail of the cardboard box that did not do its job. Where's the cardboard box at? It's over there on the other side of the truck. <laughs> it's basic, it should be in the trash can, man. But yeah, this baby's about to come out. Dude, look at how. My sweat stains on my shorts for my knees. You get that one. So embarrassed, man. Because I've been on his knees a lot. Oh, we're gonna, gonna have, have a squirter. Still. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Usually never lasts that long. Keep your lean back so that baby don't leak anymore. I'll throw it on the side. Wow, having a fan, man. Made a lot of progress. Currently working on our favorite part. Pushing the pin out of the front drive shaft. Even though the diff won't come out because again, our frame is pushed in a good two inches. Easier to punch yeah. Oh, there she goes. Love to see that. Well, we got as much done as we're gonna do for the night. It's about 9:50 p.m. and 100 degrees outside still. I just checked. Uh, we got the steering shaft out. The diff is all unbolted. We got the little pin out, but the diff's gonna be there until we get to cut this frame again, as Trev is telling you. Um, 
show you a little bit of the carnage from the old steering shaft. Looking down here, you see all this broken metal and not good. Well, here was that bolt that got sheared out of there. And look at that nice bend in the end of it. And then here's another little metal shavings. We got a few more pieces laying around in the frame and I have a piece in the back still, but yeah, that's about where we're gonna call it for the night. So really all we have left is get all the brake stuff out, get all this electrical off, pull the subframe. Uh, we gotta take this seat base piece out. We're gonna have Braxton weld on the new seat posts, whatever. Like right there, what over there. Um, pull all this out like I said, and yeah, we're gonna, oh, this front tub's coming out too. And yeah, hopefully the frame should be here today, or tomorrow, or the next day. And we're getting her all swapped over next week. We'll see when we come back. It's time to get the rest of this thing taken apart. Right now I'm taking the subframe off that the seats bolt into. Just took out some bolts. They went through here. A few over here. I'm using this pretty handy dandy Garage Guys tool bag, actually. It's pretty sweet. You guys go check it out. They're gonna be cheap and they work really great for holding tools, especially like for the side-by-side -side scene. But yeah, I'm gonna pull this thing out. Just like that, baby. See that Garage Guys tool bag coming in handy with the wrench? Boom, easy. Seconds away from this one frame becoming two frames. Got this bucket tied up so we can clear the frame out. Two bolts holding this thing together. Let's see what happens. Two bolts, no nuts, baby. Well guys, we learned that the four seat frame takes a lot more effort to get to, but once we got there, it came out pretty easy. Uh, stick around and watch the next video and see us rebuild this full car and hopefully go hit some trails with it.